Hi, this is Erika from QXP Shop and thank you for joining me here today in my office. Okay, so we're going to be adding the crystal on top and the two beads underneath that. So I'm going to take one of the four millimeters Excuse the guys blowing leaves out there, noise in the background, and my dog barking downstairs. Chess. Okay, so let's see if you can see this. So I have one crystal bead and the two four millimeter beads. So you see the crystals right in the center. And so what I'm going to do is pinch these together so i got to line up the end of the wire together to even it out. You don't want to have it too far difference because you don't want to have too much going one way and the other. So then you pull it like this and pinch. So you want to leave it looking like this. It's really hard on this because it's not focusing for me. And let's see, i got to twist my arm just to show you. So you see how that looks? So then we're gonna do the crisscross again and twist. And this one we're gonna twist maybe about two, three times. You don't wanna twist that much so it doesn't stick out too far on the top. But this one I think I'm just gonna not use my pliers. As you can see, I have it twisted. I twisted it twice. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and join this to the main big outer petal. So what you do is you take the outer petal and so remember we counted 26 on here and so what we're gonna do is so I had 13 on one side 13 on the other so I'm just gonna double check I got 4, 8, 12 and 13 so it's right here in the top middle and I'm gonna slip this in one part of this wire and now I don't know if you can see that so I have the it's kind of weird but I got the top the little centerpiece just sitting right here in the middle as you can see here so I'm just gonna twist so I'm actually gonna use my pliers for this I can twist it about three, four times. And so what I end up with is like that. So I have the top, the, the center piece sitting on top of the big wire. And so I'm gonna go back and look at my design on the first one. So right after that comes a four millimeter bead, which you can see right here this thing right here is sitting in between this is the top the outer petal this one's the inner so I have a, a bead right here in between so that's what I'm gonna add next so what I do is I take the, the wire like this so this is the bottom of the big petal this is the wire for the center and I'm gonna join it together and grab a bead and slip it in both of them and then open it back up so as you can see right here, so now I have that little bead right there to separate the, the outer petal from the next little petal. So let me join that. So then I take the little petal and slip it in. You see the wire right here, the two parts of this wire is one side going one way, one the other. So I'm just going to slip this in and now, so the so the bottom, I mean the, the smaller petal, so this one, I don't know if you remember, it has nine on one side, nine on the other, so I'm going to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going to sit it right between nine on one side and nine on the other side. And so it looks kind of like this, and it's a little bit kind of hard to see. 
You see the wire sticking up on top? So now I'm going to twist that to join the two together. Okay, so that one I could twist a little bit longer because it's going to be... So now this is what it looks like. If you can see that for right now. I have the outer petal right here, and this is the inner petal. And then I have the center one going this way right now, but it joined the top, the little bead in the middle, and then the, the smaller petal here. And so now what I'm gonna do here is join these back together, the wire, close them together, so I can slip in the beads that go all in the middle, which is the four millimeter, the three and a half, and the big crystal bead, and then the three and a half, and the four millimeter. So this is the whole center. So, I grab a four millimeter bead and slip it through the two wires together. Grab a 3.5. And sometimes the holes on the smaller beads are a little bit harder to see or get the sometimes the wire through depending on which side you open. The so one side sometimes has a little bit bigger hole than the other, but so then I take the crystal bead and slip it through both wires together. There you go. So I have this so far, and then I'm gonna repeat and put the three millimeter, the three point five I mean and then the four millimeter. Okay, so I got that together. Let's see if you can see that. So now what I have to do is join this wire to this to close this off. So now I gotta open the wire back up, spread it out. You can see that? So I spread out the wire and then I'm gonna slip one of them through the small petal like this. Till it's touching. Sometimes you gotta shimmy it in there. And then what I'm going to do, I'll see if I can get this a little closer so you can see. So this is going to go one way back at the bottom and this is going to go the other way like that. And then you're just going to twist. So this is the wiring right here for the smaller petal. And I'm just going to start twisting the one for the center. So I'm going to do about twice like that. And then open up the wire for the smaller petal and now you have it like this so you can see the wiring right here and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wiring the two wires on this side and slip it through the big petal like that so one of them is sticking out this way I don't know if you can see that. I know it's hard, kind of hard to see this on camera, but you see one's going through the back side and this one's going through the front. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the one in the back to the right and this one to the left. So again, so we're going to do kind of like this twisting like that. And then you're going to twist. And this one I'm going to do a little bit more twisting than the other times because you just want a little bit. That's about it right there. So as if you could see that. So this wire right here in the center at the top, this is the bottom of the whole entire, is basically the bottom of the big pedal, the wire for the big pedal. And then these two and this two are the wiring for everything in the center. So the smaller inner petal and the center right here. 
And so now that we did the twisting, you can see that, we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna get rid of this. So with the wire clippers, we're gonna snip these off. Be careful not to snip off your center wire. And so now, it looks like that, nice and clean. And so what I do before I'm done, call this one done, is I take my pliers and grab onto the center and just start twisting the direction the wire is going so that way there's nothing jagged sticking out, pinch anybody. And so that's it. And one petal is finished. So now I have two petals done. And what I like to do with these two, I'll show you for this one, but I'll continue on and I'll show you what to do afterward. So what I like to do from here is take the two and X them like this. So right at the end of the bulkiness, because one of the main things about them like is, is you want to get rid of the bulk. And to get rid of the bulk, you have to cut off excess wire. So, what I'm going to do is join these right there. So you see how it's looking like a crisscross a little bit right there. And then you're going to twist. So I twist about a little bit and then I'm going to open these wires back up. Keep two in the center because those are the two that we're going to keep. And two go on the outer. So, see if you can see that. the two right here in the center and then the two that are sticking out on the sides we're getting rid of but before we get rid of them we're going to twist a little bit of the two outer ones onto the two center ones and that's about it take your wire cutters and snip those off too and of course the other plier and go around this thing and clean it up And there you go. So this is two petals joined together. So we're going to have two of these and one by itself to, uh, to create the five petals for the flowers. So I'll show you what to do next. But let me go ahead and make the other two and I'll be right back.